Hello, and welcome to the Super Professor Podcast. You're listening to Clemens Kunkel, a.k.a. Super Professor. And today we want to talk about the coronavirus, um, the Corona-19, the new virus. Now, the, the problem is, um, I live in the United States, and the problem is uh, the person um, that's running my country is a child. Uh, Donald Trump is a child. And should we, should, why am I panicking? Should I panic? Well, that's a good question. You know, let me see. Let me see if I can explain why I'm panicking. And now panicking means, you know, you know they go to the extreme there where you don't think well and you can't think about it. You don't, you, you don't respond correctly to situations. Okay. Um, I panic, but then I go, okay, I got to plan ahead. I can't let Trump get me killed or my family killed. Are my grandkids killed? What does that mean? Well, how do I know that Trump is a child running my country? Well, in 2018, the Trump administration, now this this is Donald J. Trump and the Republicans. They're responsible for the people who are going to be dying and the people that have died. In 2018, the Trump administration fired the government's entire pandemic response chain of command. He sabotaged. Donald J. Trump is getting people killed with his ignorance. The coronavirus is spreading like wildfire around the world. And we have a child in the country running it. Now here, now in was it April the first, uh, twenty twenty, um, published the Australians have active and an emergency response plan to the coronavirus, with the prime minister warning that it's a matter of time until a global pandemic is declared. Now we're not going to hear that from Donald J. Trump in the United States. What did Donald J. Trump say at his rally? Um, the Democrats, coronavirus is a hoax, trying to take him down. This is the child. Should I panic? Yeah, let me think about this. I got a child saying it's a Democrat hoax. The coronavirus is killing people and 90,000 people have it, but it's a hoax. The Democrats caused the virus. It's a hoax. I got a child running the country with nuclear warheads. That, oh, this child wanted a nuke a hurricane. This is spread the contamination everywhere. Donald J. Trump is a child running a country like Vladimir Putin. We got nothing but crazy people in power now. Should you panic if you live in the United States? Yes. Panic and then go, shoot, I got to do something. Panic means, oh, damn, the flood's coming. You panic for just a little bit and then you get normal and go, okay, plan ahead. What do I do to survive? A hurricane's coming. You're going to have an instant panic. Then you, then you get calm and you go, well, what do I got to do? Panic's okay if it wakes you up. You don't stay there forever. A twister's coming. You see it, you're, you're going to be scared to death. And then you go, what do I got to do to survive? Survival kicks in. So should you panic right now? Yes, because you don't know that Trump's an idiot. Yes, be very concerned. Understand that who he fired. Can, can you imagine firing the entire pandemic response chain of command? What has Donald J. Trump done? He's fired people, head of governments, head of governments, head of, head of everything, and put lackeys and dumb people in place. He put Betsy DeVos in, head of education, that's homeschooled, that is clueless, that's a millionaire. I mean, a billionaire. She's got yachts after yachts after yachts. He puts nothing but rich people in, but rich people, just because they're rich doesn't make them smart. You can be rich and smart, but you can't be like Trump and stupid. And Betsy DeVos. 
He put, okay, in, in the environmental, let me help you out further so you can panic some more. Environmental protection, Trump is removing everything that keeps us safe. That came around at Nixon's time. He's removing all the environmental protection that keep us safe. So what is he doing again? The entire pandemic he just gets rid of? Response team for us? Should you panic? Yes. Realize anything that Donald Trump says is a lie. What did he say? Oh, the Russian hoax. No, Trump had one, in the Mueller report shows, 100 Russian contact. The reason Trump didn't get taken out is because the Republicans only care about money. They don't care about human beings. They don't care about cheating. Republicans cheat. How do we know they cheat? Jerry Mandarin, that's cheating. They're not winning legitimately. Trump lost by 3 million votes. And what did Trump say? Oh, those are 3 million illegal voters. All he gets to do is lie to us. Why is he still in office? So yes, I'm telling you, you should panic because don't listen to Trump. The Surgeon General said don't wear masks. Now understand it. You look at any videos in China and every other country, everybody's wearing masks. The entire towns are wearing masks. The Surgeon General, you know what they, they told us to do? Don't wear a mask. It, they're telling us not to wear a mask. You know why? Because the hospital needs them. I like, are you, f- they will tell you not to wear the mask because it doesn't do any good. This is the Surgeon General of the United States. So you should panic. Yes, you should be very worried right now. They tell you don't wear a mask because it doesn't do anything. Then when you read further down on what they're saying, they say, well, the hospitals need it. Well, if it doesn't do anything, why the hospital got it? Oh, wait a minute. You read further down? This is what they say. If you have a mask on, you can't give your virus to someone else. I thought you said the mask didn't do any good. <laughs> what? So think about this. Don't wear a mask because if you cough and you have it and you don't know you have it, you give it to someone else. But if you have a mask on, you can't give it to someone else. This is the clowns that is running the country right now. This is their logic. So should you panic? Yes. And realize what tr- coming out of Trump's mouth is not any good. Go to Australian news. Go, go to any other news network. Do not listen to Donald J. Trump. Do not go to fake Fox News. Do not listen to that station. They had a guy on, which was insane. They had a father on t- on Fox News with his daughter on his lap. He's coughing. She's coughing. She's drinking out of the bottle. She. They both were cleared at the at the at the hospital because they had the coronavirus, and they're 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 cleared like they're okay. How is this guy okay? He's constant coughing constantly. She's drinking water. He's drinking water. Oh, it's best. He drinks out of her bottle of water. He's coughing like crazy, and he gives it back to his daughter. This is on Fox News. You can watch a grown-up not knowing that his daughter's sick and he is sick and like, let me give it back to my daughter. Fox News put this guy on. Because why? Because it's a hoax. It's no big deal. They think this is, this is, this is, this is it's going to go away. These people are crazy. They're going to get you killed. They're going to get your grandkids killed. They're going to get your... This virus is mutating. Coronaviruses has, viruses have been around. It's like the flu. Things mutate. It's going worldwide. It's mutating. What did China do? They built hospitals to handle all the dang people. You understand, in two weeks they had hospitals built. They built hospitals. Go watch China News on the information, what they did to control it. They shut down city. No one was allowed to go on the street. It was shut down. Everybody was told to stay in their houses. The nurses were working overtime, couldn't go home. They had to wear masks. They, they, they went and knew that they had a problem. Did they do it too late? Yeah, but they still went out and busted their butt to take care of it and shared the news after that. Did they screw up at the beginning? Yes. 
How do we know that? Because the doctor that found the coronavirus knew, and he was went on the news, went on, not on news, went on YouTube and shared the information. And guess what happened to the guy? He's dead now. Why? Because he died. Because he got the virus. He's a doctor that got the virus and died from it. So thinking this is going to go away is ridiculous. There's 3,000 people, more than 3,000 people that have died. So to say this is, oh, it's like the flu is ridiculous. If it was like the flu, why did they close the entire, why does the country have 90,000 people that have it? 40,000 people have been released. Why? Because they go in, they, they got an immune system, they get in the hospital, they help them, they help them, they help them. Otherwise, there'd be a whole bunch of pe dead people. It's kind of like you get the flu, you got to get medicine or you're dead. Donald J. Trump is a ding dong. He, he's, he doesn't know anything. He's a child that's running a country which is embarrassing. You have, okay, one minute, let's see. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 17 cases, 17 states in the United States now confirmed that, ha that have it. That's over, what is it, 80, 80, 80 people that are confirmed in the United States with the virus. And what, five people have died? I, I don't, I'm losing track of how many people have died right now in the United States. Over 3,000 people have died worldwide. But see, we should you panic? Yes, because Trump Trump's a ding dong. He's he's he, he doesn't know anything. So you got well, okay, here it is. 89,770 people, and this is old information I just gave you. 3,060 people have died. 45,500 have recovered. 45,500 have recovered, but they had it. But because they got in the hospital, they got taken care of, they're better off. Now the you know, you, uh, we do have a problem. Donald Trump is going to use a Sharpie. And, you know, he goes to his rallies and he goes, um, Russia, it's it's a Russian hoax. When in the Mueller report shows over 100 Russian contacts, over, over 100 Russian contacts in the Mueller report. And the Republicans ca did not read the Mueller report. And the Democrats knew that they wouldn't be able to convict Trump because he's already elected. He cheated. In the Mueller report, Trump is individual one. He's a criminal. Michael Cohen's in prison because Trump is a criminal. Michael Cohen's a criminal. But he's still in office. We have a criminal running the United States. So are you, should you listen to him? Should you panic? You should panic because he is not a decent human being in any way, shape, or form. He's not protecting us. How come we... Here's the simple logic. How come we don't have masks already made for us when other countries have it? Why, why is every other country better than us? Because we got a ding dong in office. They, there's no testing equipment, hardly anything going out, which is insane. You know, like, they don't have the testing equipment that they need. How do we know that they don't have testing equipment? Well, it's easy. Dr. Matt McCarthy, a staff physician at the New York Presbyterian. Now, here's what he says. I'm here to tell you right now at one of the busiest hospital in the country, I don't have a rapid diagnostic test at my fingertips. I still have to make my case and plead to the test people. This is not good. We know that there are 88 cases in the United States. There are going to be hundreds by the middle of the week. There's going to be thousands by next week. And this is a testing issue. And then he says, in New York, the person who tests positive is only is only the 32nd test we've done in this case, in this state, he says. This is a national scandal. They're testing 10 
thousand a day in some countries, and we can't even get this off the ground. McCarthy says, I'm a pr- practitioner on the front line, on the firing lines, and I don't have the tools to per- properly care for patients today. And the video is on CNBC. See also Corona 19 testing number by countries. Now you got to understand, this is a doctor. He's a doctor that can't get testing equipment. It's like the doctor that was in China couldn't get what he needed and couldn't get it out to the world, so he put it on YouTube, and he died. The man spoke out, and he ended up with it, and he ended up, you watch videos of him in the hospital, and then he died. The man died in the hospital. So here's a doctor, you know, telling us he has a problem in New York. So is there, should you panic? Yes. Why? Because the information we're getting from the government is lies. Our government is not working for us on the Republican side. The Democrats know we have a problem, but they are not in control to help us. The Republicans control the Senate. Years ago, there were good Republicans. Yeah, there were, but they're not anymore. If there was good Republicans, you would have had a whole bunch of them stood up to remove Trump when he, when he, when he used a country and blackmailed. Donald J. Trump blackmailed a country that was our ally. Understand what this little garbage did. It was our allies, not our enemy, our allies, a country that works with us. They're our friends. And Trump blackmailed them for $340 million. He took the government's money that we were going to give the Ukraine tip for help, blackmailed them, said, hey, I need you to do something against Joe Biden and his son. I need you to go on TV and say this. Otherwise, I'm not going to give you the money. Trump stopped the money. So 100%, Trump was helping Putin again because Putin invaded Crimea. So should you be should you be worried? Yeah. Trump is 100% Russian. He probably got a dual citizenship. Donald J Trump is a Putin asset. There's no gray. This here's simple. Putin doesn't care about his people. His people are starving. Putin is worth what, what I think they said 50 billion or 60 billion dollars on his salary. No, he stole from his country the same that Donald Trump is doing to us. But what he's doing now, he's going to get people, he's getting people killed because he's incompetent. Did people die during a hurricane because of his incompetence? Yes. He gets, he gets to get people killed and it's okay. He puts children in dog cages. It's okay. It's not okay what this sick thing keeps doing. But this virus will kill more than what Trump has been doing. His incompetence is going to get the United States completely in harm's way. And the Republicans are allowing this. So should you be concerned? You should be damn concerned. You should be scared to death. Go, I've got to do something. Here's the thing. What information have you heard from Trump where we get this virus from? Anybody? I can tell you what, every time I keep seeing Trump, it's a hoax. It's a hoax. So there's no sense in get, telling you. He's got it under control. He said 15 people had the, had the virus and we have it totally under control when that was a lie. There were 60 people that had it. Why is this man allowed to lie 24-7? He just lies. He just makes stuff up. Rake the rake the forest to get remove the hurricane. A hurricane uh, rake the forest to stop the forest fires. Um, nuke the hurricanes to get rid of the hurricane. Uses a sharpie to draw where the hurricane's going and wasn't going there, and people panic because they thought it was going there. 
he he does he says it's it's uh, it's it's fine and then the CDC says Trump will say we have we have a cure it'll be out in, in any time when there is no cure for it yet as at all and the CDC says it'll take a year to 18 months before there's a cure after the testing because you can make a make something but if you give it to someone they die and that person dies and the other person dies it's not a cure it's a killing you're killing them so you can't go by what Trump says, and you can't no longer trust the government. You're going to have to go to other. We're going to have to li- li- watch China and see what they do. L- watch Australia and see what they do. Don't go by Trump. Don't go by fake Fox News. Go to any other news network is safer, but don't go to fake Fox News. Shepard Shepherd Smith not there anymore. You're not going to get any truth anymore. Don't listen to Trump. Don't go to his rallies. The people that go to the rallies, they're here's the thing. All those crazy people that love Donald J. Trump or KKK, alt-right, neo-Nazi, the white nationalists, those sick people are going to get really sick. Don't go. Find out what Trump is. See, I do these podcasts, so I'm like, I, if I can get one person that's a Trumper to change their point of view, they might end up staying alive and help us win the vote. I'm not Democrat or Republican. I don't vote by party. I think that's ridiculous. If a person's insane, why would I put him in office? I didn't vote for Trump because he was bad doo-doo at get-go. The man bragged on Howard Stern Radio that he could walk in on children changing clothes. On Howard Stern Radio, years ago. I knew what Trump is. Why would, why would you vote for someone like that? A guy that walks in on girls changing clothes? Don't anybody have daughters? I got three. You walk in on mine, I'm putting you down. Why would you vote for sick thing like that? He has three wives. He slept on all th- slept around on all three of them. Why would you vote for something like that? There is no moral value. There is no moral compass. He put children in dog cages and says it's fine. He's punishing the parents. He took the parents, sent them to another country, and kept the goddamn kids. He kidnapped children. And he's still in office. Republicans don't care about Children in dog cages, they don't care about you dying from a disease. They got insurance and money. Most people don't have insurance and they're trying to remove, wait a minute, uh, Trump is getting rid of, God dang, well, how much, I got to go look it up right now. There billion, he just, he just passed another stupid bill that he's trying to get. Oh, okay, 500 billion from Medicaid he wants to remove. Another tax cut, another budget cut. 900 billion from Medicaid, uh, so 500 billion from Medicare, 900 billion from Medicaid, 24 billion from Social Security. Do you understand what this guy does? He don't care about people. He's rich. He steals from people. He doesn't pay his bills. He has 22 uh, failed businesses, and people vote for this guy that's a ding dong. This is insane. So should you panic? Yes. Panic, get very concerned and go, what should you do? Okay, so let me give you some more information. How is the virus spread? You know within six feet, if you're coughing or something or talking, you're, you can spit out the stuff that's the virus. The person could be six feet next to you and get it. How does it get in? It gets in through the mouth, it gets in through the nose and the eyes. That's the reason when you watch videos in China and everything else, they got eye goggles on. You're like, what do they got eye goggles on? Because it gets in through the eyes. That it's it's spreading. It's spreaded worldwide. There was a guy that was just on YouTube, got off a plane, videotaping himself, and he goes, I wasn't even tested. He landed in the United States. There was no testing. Zero. Nada. And he got out and he put he puts a mask on and he went straight home with a mask on and he's quarantining himself for 14 days to make sure that he didn't bring the virus from another country here. That's an intelligent human being that spread the word Hey, if you travel and you come back, they're not checking you because it, Trump did, they, they don't have testing equipment out. The doctor told us in New York, there's no, we don't have the testing equipment. No, how come they don't have testing equipment when everywhere around the world we've been watching that there's a problem? How come we weren't preparing ourselves? 
We're the most powerful country in the world, but not through health care. Other countries got health care. But we don't. This, it's ridiculous. Should you panic? Yes. Panic, realize what you should do. You should. They say, don't panic and don't go get food. Yes, go get food. Go get food, get toilet paper, because if your school gets closed down, you're going to end up going to, to um, go into the store like everybody else to grab stuff. Grab stuff now. If, if it's not in your town yet, well, plan ahead. Get your stuff so you can stay away from everybody. It's, it's in the United States for weeks. You could just be a carrier. There's going to be a lot more people die for the simple reason we're not prepared, even though it's been happening around all over the globe and we're doing nothing. The United States has done nothing. So should you panic? Yeah, absolutely yes. Get your heart racing and understand your your older people are in danger, the worst. But young people, yes, the virus mutates. So plan ahead. You do go out there, the, you know, what the, the doctors and everything else, they're, they're, they're from head to toe to keep from getting it. They risk their lives every day. Should you worry? Yes, because we don't have a country that's decent with the government in place. They're trying to remove Obamacare. They, they don't want people to have it. The rich people don't want people to be healthy. The rich people are controlling the government. The filthy rich. The people that aren't worth anything. That steal, lie, and cheat. Donald Trump is a thief, a liar, and a criminal. And he's still in office. Which is insane. How could you put a child in a dog cage? Just think that about that as a human being. How the hell is that even? Why would someone do Because they're sick. They're sick people. Donald J. Trump's people are the KKK, the alt-right, the neo-Nazi, and the white nationalists. When a neo-Nazi drove a car in and killed Heather Heyer and injured 13 others, Donald J. Trump said, Ooh, there's violence on both sides. He didn't say murder was wrong. Oh, that's right. Donald J. Trump said, oh, I can shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and not lose any votes. So what he told people is murder is okay. So his people murder and it's okay. Those murdering people used to hide who they were. They kept a hoodie on, a little white hoodie. The superior stupid race, the white people. They kept a hoodie on. Donald Trump gets in office, they take their hoodie off. They're they're disgrace. They're nothing but cowards, babies. They're they're weaklings. They're an embarrassment to the human race. I'm a pissed off white man. They're an embarrassment. They're 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 and religious people? You're not religious, you're sick. You voted for Trump, you like Trump, you worship Trump, a person that walks in. That how is these people religious? They're not religious. They're sick. Just like the white people, they're not, they're not, they're sick in the head, but they're going to get us killed worse now than ever. So should you panic? Yeah. Plan ahead. Get masks. Don't listen to the government. Cause it's just going to get worse. You watch videos, uh, what other, other countries did, the, um, Everybody else has masks on. The delivery people still deliver food. They just put it outside, step, step, lay the step back like 12 feet. The person drops his money and the people are wearing gloves. They still deliver food because people still need to eat and people still need to stay in business. But they're not being stupid about it. They had, uh, you know, like what's that rumor that goes around and cleans the floor? They had this robotic thing that went around and sprayed the streets and stuff and, and buildings. They had robots going around telling people to stay indoors. It's a curfew. Can't get out. 
They had people going around on doors knocking and then testing. They went around testing from house to house to see if the person had the virus. To make sure if you have it, you cannot leave. Other countries are doing way better than us and we're supposed to be the smart people. We're not smart. We got an idiot in power. That's not smart. That's stupid. Face the facts. We got a problem. So anyway, I I, I hope one of you are listening out there and do something for your family and everything. So anyway, uh, what do I what do I do? Well, I'm uh, I'm kind of like a geeky person. I published a book, Man Made Climate Change. Uh, oh, and there's the other thing. Trump doesn't know anything about man made climate change. That, that guy's a ding dong. So I published a book, uh, Man Made Climate Change, made super easy to understand. It's climate change, but it's not Mother Nature anymore. It's us. We're doing it. So my book explains it. Then I published a science book, Keys to Unlocking the Universe, New Theories on the Universe. That's out there. Then I published a self-help book, um, Dream Your Dreams. So, you know, that's the reason I do the podcast. Originally, I was doing a podcast to get my books out and then Trump come in office and then I just went against him. I'm like, that guy's driving me insane. So, you know, I, I doing the podcast to say, hey, we're not those crazy people. Anyway, uh, and also, um, what else do I do? Well, I've flown planes when I was 21 years old. I flew a Cessna 170, a Pioneer Tommy Hawk, and a Luskin. Chip Wilson taught me to fly. He also taught me construction, Chip and Earl Wilson. So, you know, I had pe- good people that taught me. Um, my father was 22 years Marine Corps. Yeah, I'm not the person uh, these Trumpers can bully. But I can't, I can protect my family. But I can't protect it from a virus, but I can plan ahead to, you know, I warn my family, I warn my family. They're not like me. Everybody's not like me, geeky. I'm very geeky. You know, I study. So, you know, I only had a, a 12th grade education and I sucked in school, but that doesn't mean I can't keep learning. Donald Trump is, is a ding dong. So pay attention to who he is and remove him. Get rid of him in 2020 because they're cheating already in 2020. Trump is asking for help from other countries. Vladimir Putin's helping Trump again. There's no gray that Trump's a criminal. There's no gray that he's a fake president. There's no gray. Zero gray. He's a fake president. He's a fake human being. He's a disgusting human being. He's not white. He's stupid and disgusting. He's an embarrassment. That's what he is. And his entire family is an embarrassment. Ivanka, that beautiful Ivanka, sat in Vladimir Putin's chair, and Michael Cohen made it happen, sat in a murdering dictator's chair. Donald J. Trump is in debt to Vladimir Putin, and it's going to come and bite him because he is not going to get reelected. If he gets reelected, look at it this way. In the next month, Think about how many people are going to be dead in the United States because of the incompetence that we have right now. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. So everybody out there, you be safe. Plan ahead. Don't listen to Trump and his people. They are an embarrassment. There's not going to be hospital. We don't have we don't have the hospitals to put everybody in. The, the other 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 countries they they opened up stadiums and made beds in there. They built hospitals because they they knew it was going. You got to understand what other countries did to straighten out the mess. Once it gets, it's already in the United States because we don't have a pandemic response. Michael Mike Pence had the HIV. Oh my gosh, he sucked in his in his state. HIV outbreak in his when he was governor. He's not any good. We just got ding-dongs in office. So everybody, be careful. Watch yourself. Oh, check out my YouTube video. Clemens Kunkel, C-L-E-M-O-N-S-K-U-N-K-E-L. I break concrete block, beer bottle, and wine bottle with my bare hand. Go check me out. Take care. Bye. And be safe. Plan ahead. It's okay to panic. Then, Then survival kicks in. So panic and then survive. Take care.